Hi, and welcome to DQ Tarot. My name is Helen. And I'm going to be doing your reading for August 24th and 25th. Nice little weekend reading. Okay, so I've been super busy doing all the end of the month and some, a lot of private readings. And um, tomorrow is the last day for um, the contest, guys. So if you want to enter to win a 10-minute free reading, I will be choosing 10 people after tomorrow. Um, so to enter, all you have to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once you have done all that, email me and I will enter your name into it. And I will choose 10 people randomly and you guys will get free readings, 10 of you, for 10, uh, just 10 10 minute free readings. <laughs> okay, cool. So, also all my 20 minute readings are just $15 until tomorrow as well. So if you wanna book a private reading, now is a good time. Alrighty, so the energies for this weekend for all signs. What do we need to know? What's coming in? Energies, events, what will be happening? What do we need to know about that will be happening? For anyone that needs to resonate with this video. The chariot, ooh, moving forward guys, moving ahead, having energy to move ahead here, um, really being in the driver's seat. It's like that feeling of being back in the driver's seat. Oh yes, <gasps> what a nice weekend so far. The sun, um, we have victory, we have um, victoriousness. I think that a feeling like, wow, like you're finally there type of feeling here. And you got here, you have the power to get here this weekend. It's like you have the power to move forward into this brand new, amazing, victorious phase here. Um, we get the page of coins and that is all about, um, you know, new, new job opportunities, new money coming in, maybe an earth sign, um, being a beginner at, at something, being a beginner at manifestation, being a beginner at something here. Um, hmm, one second. Sorry about that. My phone was acting up. Um, all right. What else here? And the Queen of Swords, interesting. So, um, either an air sign or, um, hmm, some sort of very decisive, decisive feelings here. So, um, we're gonna go through and clarify these. The Chariot is very much about, like, you know, starting. Here we have the companions, and they're all starting to move forward on the journey here. Um, they're on their ponies, and they're moving forward. Um, they are, they're in the driver's seat here. They know where they're going. They're, they're moving towards the Lonely Mountain, which is off in the distance there. You can see it. Um, so it's all about kind of like choosing a direction and going with it, Get go, really going for it and like really being driven about it. Choose one direction here because, you know, in the classic chariot picture, there is the two sides. And um, so you really need to pick one direction and just move forward. Sorry, my technology is being a little bit wonky. It's quite distraction. Um, but, yeah, the sun here is very much about you know a truth coming to light something coming to light here um and like understanding your path forward and maybe going into it victoriously like maybe you're able to finally move forward into something and it's very very like it, it, you finally are able to have victory in it you're finally able to see the light here it's like the light at the end of the tunnel is the kind of feeling that i'm getting here and the page of coins is very much about um it's very much about a new start probably in a job a money an opportunity a career maybe an earth sign maybe a younger earth sign um, the Queen of Swords is, she's a very decisive, very balanced. She controls her emotions. She has, a, like, she is like head over heart is what she is in this kind of sense. Um, she's very direct. She knows where she's going here. So let's see what's going on for this weekend. Let's clarify these a little bit. And I'm going to use, actually I'm just going to continue using the Hobbit deck to clarify them. So I'm really liking these cards right now. Meanwhile, we have a nice thunderstorm rolling in here. If you can hear it, <laughs> you might in a minute. And thank you guys so much for all your support, for all your likes and subscribes. It's been really, really wonderful. It's been amazing how quickly I'm growing here. I love this community. You guys are all so wonderful. It's so great to connect with so many of you. Um, I love like, reading your messages and your comments. It really, it means the world to me. This has really just been overwhelmingly wonderful. Especially so in this last week, I feel like it's grown so much and I've been having such a great time with you guys. It's been wonderful. It's like things have been really coming together. 
All right, the chariot and the sun. And you know what? We got that Pisces full moon this weekend. I haven't even mentioned that, but obviously that's what's happening here. It's really illuminating your path forward. It's illuminating something good in your life. It's bringing something in. It's like a feeling of you get to get back in the driver's seat and get there. All of a sudden, you have that option. You have that option to have that money, that queen of coins energy, which is very much about abundance. She knows how to grow things. She knows how to take care of business. She takes care of things. Like She is able to manifest whatever she wants. She's very reliable. She has, um, she is able to accumulate wealth. Like she's just able to like make it happen. To be able to like live comfortably always. It's being about, it's about being very comfortable, very homey, very, um, very loving, very like homegrown type of energy here. Um, so it's very much about being able to manifest abundance and wealth and comfort here. Um, it's like you finally get to a stage where you can feel comfortable and happy about where you are and stable. It's like a real feeling of stability. I think it's because you guys have some new money and stuff coming in. More options. There's a lot more options. There's a lot of, I mean, don't get too lost by, like, and fantasize about all your options is what it's also telling me. It's shining light on, like, some of the options that maybe you've been considering and being like, these are not real. Um, but, you know, you haven't even been considering something. And it ha it is real. Like, there is something here that is is worth something. And it's shining light on that particular opportunity. Yeah, we get the Seven of Swords reverse. It's clarity. Clarity is coming in here. Something that maybe you didn't understand before. It seems like you guys are able to spiritually open up and see that this weekend. Seven of Swords reversed um, right next to this. Like you're able to see that you have other options. It's like you didn't realize how many options that you had. And all of a sudden, like they're coming in here. You're able to see that. So let's clarify um, the last of these right here. And unless you guys really like it when I read all the descriptions, because I do have my little booklet here. Um, if you guys write in the comments if you would like me to continue reading those descriptions, I will in the, um, like my daily readings. I might start doing readings like every for every two days because I feel like energies are better that way. They flow a little bit more easily. Um, it's less like, it's a little bit like, it gives it more time for the energies to play out. Um, and then we get the Five of Swords right there. Interesting. So there is some fighting. Um, Something comes to light about something, somebody that wasn't being honest with you that was taking from you. So this weekend, you could have to be decisive about cutting somebody out because maybe somebody wasn't supporting you or they had an underhanded way about, um, like something comes to light about something happening here, you know, some sort of loss, some sort of fight, something. So the five and the seven of swords feel very sneaky to me. It feels very underhanded, very sneaky. Um, the Seven of Swords is that coming to life. The Five of Swords is still realizing that somebody took something from you, is what it feels like. Um, and yeah, the, we have the King of Swords here as well. So this is very much about um, deciding, making a decision here and sticking with it. So I feel like, I mean, at the end of the weekend, we get a lot of swords. <laughs> um, and we get the Queen and the King of Swords. So be decisive about something, you know, really think things through. If you have some options that you have to weigh out here and like, you know, suddenly all this is illuminated and somebody comes to you with some more options um, or, um, you know, is fighting with you, you, you realize that somebody has taken something from you, you might have to decisively cut this person out. You might have to employ the King and the Queen here of um, swords, or you might have to rely on the king and queen of swords if you have any air signs in your life or if you are an air sign you're gonna have to really uh fall into yourself i mean not fall into yourself but really um amp up your air energy here is if that makes sense um really be decisive really um employ that air sign energy um of decision making of being level-headed of not letting your emotions rule this moment here because the Pisces full moon is illuminating a lot of emotional things I feel like in our lives and we're going to be really um, not emotional when some things certain things come to light here when some hurtful things come to light you're going to have to take your emotion out of it and just do what's best for you here and do what's best for this situation and really um, be level-headed about it and not be crazy about it. These are both show them upright, so it seems like you guys have that capacity this weekend to really be, have a level-headed approach to whatever you are facing. And you know, guys, it's still, the chariot and the sun are here. We have new opportunities. We have the light shining down. Things are illuminated here. Things are illuminated, and we, it feels like we finally are gaining some understanding and some, um, some stability. We have stability to deal with all of this this weekend, okay? We have stability and the ability to um, be really level-headed. So um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. 
it's really awesome to connect with you again on these daily sort of videos. I'm going to be doing like two day dailies just because I think they're a little bit more, they're a little easier for me to get through with all the other readings that I'm doing. Um, and I just feel like it just has much better flow for the energy. <laughs> it's a lot less specific and not like this has to happen today and then it doesn't and people are like, what the heck? But you know, I feel like two days is nice, good. I can't even think of the word. <laughs> I've been doing readings all day. I'm a little brain dead. All right, so let's see. All right, a message from Spirit is number 39. The heart signifies great joy when near. Again, these are my Gypsy Witch Tarot deck. Um, this is what I use to get my message from Spirit here. So yeah, this is great joy is coming into your life. You have great joy on the horizon here. So don't let um, you know, don't let anything that comes to light that may hurt you or may make you want to fight and make you angry about some sort of loss get to you this weekend because you have great joy coming in. And it is so much more than that loss. You have bigger things coming in. You have better things coming in. You have you have a lot of joy coming here. This is almost like the Knight of Cups type of feeling. It's love. It's like, this is amazing. Um, a wonderful feeling of joy, of happiness, of success. Um, so you guys have so much coming in here, love, opportunities, and work, um, new starts, um, and you're going to understand things that you weren't able to understand up until this point. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Again, if you want to, um, this is the last, I think today and tomorrow are going to be the last days to enter that contest for the free 10-minute reading. I'm going to be choosing 10 people um, each for a 10-minute reading. So all you have to do to enter is like, share, um, subscribe and comment. So after you've done all of those things, you have to just um, email me. And if you are confused by anything, just check in my description box below. If you want to book a private reading, all the information is also below. You just have to email me about it, PayPal me. And then once the PayPal comes in, I will do the reading. Um, and yeah, also my all my 20 minute readings are $15 um, up until the 25th. After the 25th, that deal also will end. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Utilize the wonderful energies this weekend. And um, I hope everything goes well. Um, leave some comments below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And I will see you after the weekend.